So hello everybody, it's Friday, so it's time for the Tax Fridays, a new tax function every Friday. In today's Tax Fridays, we're going to use the function rank X to create a row ID by subcategory. This is basically what we're trying to do. And um, how about we get started? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We have a table that contains supplier location and contract ID, and we would like to have an index by supplier, but then by row ID. We want to identify each unique row by supplier. I already showed you in another video how to create this index with the Steam count. We'll link there and down below, so go and check it out in case you haven't. So what we're going to do is for each index one, we're going to have a row ID, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new column. We're going to call it like, I don't know, sub row, row ID. Because you know, to create a row ID, you can just go to Power Query and can create an index and then you have a row ID. But we're going to create a row ID using DAX by subcategory, in this case, it's supplier. So we're going to put the function rank X and the first is a filter, a, a table. So we're going to filter our table like this, let me show you. So we're going to filter supplier table where supplier is equal to, I have a video on earlier that explains the function in, in detail, so please go and check that out in case you haven't seen it before. But in short term, in short words, what it says is like if supplier equal to supplier. So this is going to go through the supplier column and if supplier A is equal to A on each row, just create a table on that. And once it has a table, so this table is going to get fed into the rank function. And once it has that table, we will say, okay, rank now on contract ID. Okay, because we want to have a row ID. So if we put now here contract ID, you see that it creates one to three, one to three, so it's creating an index buys. Uh, supplier and by contract ID and you can say okay Ruth but I do not have a unique column because the reason why this works is because there is a unique uniqueness on the contract ID I have another example let me show you here where the contract ID for example you have supplier and then location and then the contract ID for each country is the same you can see it here so when you do the row ID exactly the same way I did it, you will see here that, you know, rank does not, when you get um, the same value, it, it will just one, one and three. Well, it depends. You, you can change that behavior on rank. Uh, but that's not what we want because we want to create a row ID. If, now here's the thing, if you would have another column like I have here that it says, okay, this is the same contract ID, but it is another terms that we can differentiate and create a unique column. You can do it like this. You don't actually need to create the new um, column, like physically. We can do it on the fly. This is super cool. Check this out. So here we do the same. We say, okay, if supplier equal A, this is what this folder part is saying. Then go and concatenate contract ID with terms. So now it's creating a, on the fly, virtually, a co column that concatenates contract ID and terms and creates a unique column on the fly. Super cool. And then if you do that, you will get again the unique IDs. And you might say, Ruth, I don't have that. What do I do? Well, Power Query index column concatenate on the fly. You're good to go. Okay? So either way, it will work. 